Yo, what is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. I got a spicy video for you today. This is my OP Frostbolt Deep Freeze build guide for the League 3 server Mauganus. Now before you get your fingers all sweaty in the comments, I know the title says 2.5k DPS in trash gear, and I really do mean it. My gear is absolute dog water and I can still do 2.5k DPS with this build. This isn't going to be breaking any DPS records, but if you are absolutely fresh to the game and have zero idea on what to play, this is the build I recommend. 2000 to 2500 DPS is just enough to start getting into those flex raids to start collecting some better gear, and I would estimate with a fully enchanted Biss set of gear, you could probably scale this up to around 4000 DPS with the gear currently available. If these videos help you and you want to show me some love back, remember that it only takes a few seconds, but subscribing below and leaving a like will get this video out to as many people as possible. Let's dive into the video. So I will just be blunt with you guys right off the bat. A traditional Frost Mage will never be top tier DPS in League 3 unless there are some drastic changes to talents or RE's. The current selection of Frostbolt related random enchants frankly suck. This is nothing like a Harbinger build or a Prophet of Wrath build as far as DPS, but what this build initially lacks in raw numbers makes up for dead simple gameplay. Just like my Steady Shot build, this one literally only uses two buttons, Frostbolt and Deep Freeze. So damn easy and will really let you focus on the mechanics of the fight instead of a complicated rotation. Let's start this build guide off right. We gotta talk about the random enchants and stat priorities for this build. We will be using the legendary RE Ice Barrage. This has three components to it that makes it fairly strong. First, it has a 15% chance to cast a free Ice Lance at the target while you spam your Frostbolt. Free DPS you don't gotta think about is always a sweet deal. Second, you gain an additional 5% chance to trigger Fingers of Frost, which we look to stack as high as we can with this build. Lastly, it makes your Icelands deal a whopping 50% more damage to frozen targets higher level than you. So as you fight your bosses and you get your charges of fingers of frost, this auto triggers and makes your Icelands hit for almost as much as your Frostbolt. It's a nice, clean, simple RE that you don't gotta think about, all you gotta do is blast. The epic REs that are used in this build are Twisted Mind, Biting Cold, and Stay Frosty. Twisted Mind is a lifesaver when it comes to filling in the gaps that you need when your hit chance is low. This provides a flat 3% chance to hit and 60 spell power at max level, which then gets doubled to 120. There really isn't another RE in the game right now that can provide as much benefit as this one does in the early stages of gearing. As you get better and better gear, you can look to replace this RE with another RE. Shatter, for example, would work wonders with this build. But until you can comfortably reach the 70% hit cap from gear or talents, just stick with this RE. It's very, very powerful early on. Biting Cold makes Deep Freeze an incredibly powerful addition to our rotation. This one is really, really straightforward. It reduced the cooldown by a flat 35%, taking this from a 30 second cooldown to roughly 19.5 seconds, which we look to decrease further with other REs we'll cover in a minute. This RE is an absolute staple for this build. You will more than likely never change this one out, so find a good piece of gear to give it a home. Stay Frosty provides a much needed boost to the proc rate on the Fingers of Frost talent. Since we are a Frost Mage, we want this talent up as much as possible, considering while we have the buff, we gain a free 50% crit chance against the enemy, and with 100% increased crit damage, you want to be critting as much as you can. I have tried other REs in this slot, and without this RE, I lose upwards of 25% DPS, so this is an absolute must for this build. The rest of the REs for this build are as follows, 3 Fingers of Frost, 3 Hasty Deep Freeze, 3 Focused Frostbolt, 2 Accurate Frostbolt, 1 Precision, and 1 Balance of Power. As your gear improves and your hit rating goes up, look to sub out the 2 Accurate Frostbolts for something like 2 Powerful or Critical Frostbolt REs instead. The stat priority for this build is as follows, Hit until 17%, Spell Power, Intellect, Crit Rating, then Haste. Moving right along, let's go over the talent tree and spells like we always do. We will go left to right, so feel free to follow along as we go over this together. Starting over here in Druid, the spell we take here is Innervate. The talents we take here in Balance is three points into Dream State. Over in Restoration, we look to grab Mark of the Wild and Rejuvenation. 
Over in the Hunter Tree, the only spell we take here is Feign Death. Moving on to the Mage is where we spend the majority of our points. In Arcane, the spells we take here are Arcane Intellect, Arcane Explosion, Blink, and Mage Armor. The talents we take here are three points into Alacrity, three points into Arcane Meditation, and three points into Torment the Weak. Lastly, we take Arcane Power as one of our cooldowns of choice. Over in the Fire Tree, the talents we take here are Pyromaniac. In the Frost Tree, the spell we take here is Frostbolt. The talents we take here are three points into Improved Frostbolt, three points into Piercing Ice, one point into Icy Veins, three points into Shatter, five points into Ice Shards, three points into Winter's Chill, three points into Empowering Frostbolt, two points into Fingers of Frost, and of course, Deep Freeze. In the Paladin Tree, the spell we take here is Blessing of Kings. In the Priest, over in Discipline, the spells we take here are Power Infusion in the Talent Tree. Over in Holy, we look to grab Renew. Over here in the Shaman Tree, the talents we take here are three points into Raise and two points into Elemental Focus. Over in Enhancement, the spell we take here is Flame Tongue Totem. And over here in Restoration, the spell we take here is Water Shield. The last points we spend are over here in the Warlock Tree. The spell we take here is Drain Soul. The talents we take here are three points into Death's Grasp. Over in Demonology, the spells we take here are Create Firestone and Fell Armor. The last two talent points we take are Master Conjurer over here in Demonology. Now you may be wondering why I took a couple healing spells in a DPS build. Well, this is also a fairly decent open world farmer and having a couple heals really helps in that aspect as well. Especially even in a raid where you can take a minute off of your DPS to maybe throw a heal on yourself or another DPS to keep them alive. You can help out more than just DPSing in this build considering you have 18 ability essences left over to grab whatever your raid needs. With that out of the way, why don't we move on to the rotation and gameplay explanation. This one is going to be dead simple. You guys ready? Alright, here we go. Use your cooldowns, cast Frostbolt until Finger of Frost procs, then use your Deep Freeze. And that's it! Wow, crazy, right? I know, this one is super, super easy, guys. You just repeat this process over and over. Use your cooldowns when you can, spam Frostbolt, and wait for Deep Freeze. Super simple. While I'm here guys, let me show you just how garbage my gear actually is to give you an idea of what I'm working with, okay? So I've done, I don't know, maybe 15 to 20 Mythic and Mythic Pluses using my tank build, the Holy Parry Hybrid. If you haven't watched that, go ahead and watch that. I've just piecemealed together literally whatever I can find. No synergy between the gear. Look here, this one's got spell power, a decent amount, no other stats. This one's crit, stamina, spirit, and a little bit of spell power. Spell power here, again, intellect spirit, no hit. I have a blue level 56 cape. I'm using two level 47 epic rings with just 18 spell power on them. Complete crap. I'm using second wind, not the worst. Burst of knowledge, not too bad. I'm using, I don't know, energetic rods, got some haste, some spell power. For God's sakes, I'm still using a 10 strength gun. I mean, that's how bad my gear actually is, and I can still do 2.4, 2.5, 2.6 K DPS, depending on the procs, of course. All right, I'm gonna pull up the five minute patchwork dummy test. This time for this video, I will be doing the test with only self buffs, no consumables or debuffs on the target. So your results should be very close to what you see here. And that means you're only gonna do more in raids. I will see you at the end for the build guide wrap up.
And that is it guys. This build guide is so damn simple. There is literally no way you can mess this one up. I promise. If you're someone who likes to just spam one button and do a decent enough job while just focusing on the game in front of you, give this build a try and let me know how it goes. And with that, this video is done. Subscribe below for more content. I will see you in the next one.